House wars, bitches. <laughs> what would be the easiest way to convince you to take off your panties? I feel like you're a little too old for that. Hell no. Here we go, baby. Welcome to Las Vegas, where fortunes are made on the flip of a card. These former high school math whizzes are four of the best online poker players in the world. They've pooled their money, and for one high-stakes summer, they'll live and play together. Their goal? Two months. Two million. There's a game with Robo Ducky, Nilla Vanilla, and Ice Splash Rolls. <laughs> Ice Splash Rolls. Tom Weave Jack and Sam H. Deep Stacked Action. After two weeks, we're up about 200,000, which is good, but it's obviously not pace to meet the goal. Oh, play Casper. Is he good? Definitely not. He hit and ran me for $100 at 2450, came to my other table and hit and ran me for $50. <laughs> <laughs> Just hitting Ray for $100. <laughs> Alright, how much are we putting on this? Yeah, let's put a thousand bucks on. Alright, you spot me eight points. Okay. Go. Game's 11. Hey, do you need uh, a towel? Clean your eye out? I met A. Jones at a poker tournament. He's definitely one of my better friends in the poker world. Basically every summer, Las Vegas for two months just becomes a mecca. There's just thousands of kids, professional poker players who rent out a house and live with their friends just like we're doing. What do you think would win between my house and your house? Football. We'd obviously win. What about poker? Whose house would you take? We'd obviously be a huge favorite everywhere else. I beg to differ. We could turn this into someone. Our house was your house. The opportunity to challenge him in any competition I take is a very serious opportunity. So you want to make a bet on that? Yes. Our house was your house? Yes. Let's bet a billion dollars. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> We went over to uh, Aaron's place to discuss terms of our battle. Ding dong! What's up, guys? The other house, they're all like newly turned 21. You know, this is like their first summer out in Vegas. Uh, why do I have a feeling that Andrew's not very good at pool? I'm actually kind of nasty. Andrew is lucky chewy. Uh. It's because when he was a little kid, he used to always eat chewy granola bars. I got those moves, you know? 21 years old, and he's a millionaire poker player. Starkey plays lower stakes online games than the rest of us, but pretty ferocious. Steve's online screen name is Zugwat. You wouldn't think to look at him, he's just a feared online poker player. We're going to be playing the Cadillac of poker. We're doing five things? No, we're doing three things. I'm pretty excited for this challenge. <laughs> the three House Wars competitions are football, nightlife, and poker. And the loser, after three rounds, cleans the other team's house. Clean our house, bitches. <laughs> it needs the cleaning. He's talking shit already. I talk a big game, but I also play one. <laughs> There's definitely a bit of pride here between us and the A.E. Jones house. Whatever we do, he's in deep shit because I'm good at everything. You know, they're young guns, and Brian and Jay and Emil have been around longer. They're more of the old guard of online poker. All right, guys. Today, football in the middle of the day in the Las Vegas desert. The war to end all wars. We're going to do this. <laughs> the first challenge was football. I'm the quarterback because the rest of the team throws like girls. First team to score seven touchdowns wins. Okay, ready? Brian is competitive and he likes other people to know that he thinks he's going to win. Oh my god. Wow. I thought he'd never go paper. All right. I'm pretty sure nobody's actually better than me at this game. I'm just so competitive, maybe even ego-driven. I'm not going to let them beat me. It's going to be over quick. Ah, no! That was nasty. <laughs> just throw it to me when A. Jones tries to hold me. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Got it! Go! Dive in! That was one of the worst passes I've ever seen. He pushed him out. We'll give him that. Oh, oh yeah. there we go! Oh, oh, pulling out my pants. Oh, that's not that good of an idea. We should really just be exploiting Chewy. I can't really see anything. You can't see anything? I'll sweat my eyes. All right, we'll try not to go to you then. <laughs> well, I mean, I can see the ball. <laughs> Five, four, to the Jews. We need to stop. Bad. Set hike. Oh! 
Go, go, go! I knew that was going to go wrong. Why would I do that when we didn't practice it? It was such a bad idea. Sometimes the whole is more than the sum of its parts, Chewie. Yep. Yeah. Ah! GG. We're up one nothing. Challenge one goes to the home team. Is he bluff here? Probably. I was up late playing, and who do you know sits with me but Zugwat. I'm in the middle of some big pots for massively high stakes. Zugwat's really good. He's 21, he's already made millions. They're much better than we were when we first started playing. It's tough. I'm getting killed. So as the LA's king, he raised the button, I re-raised. We were about 17 or 18K deep. The turn was a 10, so it gave me a gut shot to the nuts. If I hit a jack on the river, I'd be golden. And the river's a queen. Oh my god, what a joke. Unfortunately, he did have three queens. All right, I'm down a ton of the week. Awesome. Can't believe I just lost 40K. Vegas. What's up, Cassie? Hello. Hello. What's going on? How are you guys? Cassie was a poker dealer. I was a poker player. She was charmed by my trash talking at the table, maybe a little bit. I don't know. We've been dating for four and a half years. We live together in Texas. So what do we got going on tonight? We are engaged in a challenge with another house. Inner house rivalry. Don't ask how this got started. You know, Las Vegas kind of makes people go crazy. Kind of just, I guess, bring them a little bit of sanity back. First, we played them football. We schooled them. And then there's a nightlife challenge going on tonight. I just want to point out now that this is my sixth night in a row going out. <laughs> oh, my God. How are animals? What did you... I thought y'all were playing poker this weekend. Nope. I don't know. Maybe the house wars is becoming a bit of a distraction. We're not playing any real poker, really. Cassie's in town. I decided to... Let Emil and Jay and Donnie handle the nightlife challenge, and we went out to dinner. So, how's it been going out of here? You know, I don't know. Poker-wise, it's been pretty uneventful. Really, it's just been like a chill summer so far. Although, I don't know. I think Donnie's gotten wasted five nights in a row, but he's young, so that is facing himself. At least he's not getting wasted during the daytime. I didn't realize you had such luscious as friends. I mean, when you got, you know, endless free time, endless resources. What were you doing the other day? You were playing flag football against... Oh, yeah, the A. Jones house. House wars, bitches. It wasn't pretty, but we trucked him. I feel like you're a little too old for that. A little too old for what? Playing football against some guys? Flag football in the backyard? Hell no. Never too old. She knows that I have a disease, and I think I'm smarter than everyone, so I'm not about to listen to somebody else's advice. What would make you an adult, Brian Roberts? Parenthood, I guess. Not buying a house, not... Why would buying a house make you an dad, though? He gives Brian and I have actually been looking to buy a house the last 18 months. Do you still want to buy a house? No. You don't want to buy because of the market or you want to buy because of the financial commitment? I don't want to buy because of the market. I think what scared Brian is, is again, that thing, that commitment, that where am I going to be in 10 years? And you buy a house, I mean, that, that's permanent. I'm happy because I really like Cassandra, you know? The options are to, you know, Accept me and my philosophies, or you know, don't. And what do you want? A box of chocolates? Flowers. Blue boxes. Next Christmas, I'm gonna go by Tiffany, ask them for the hugest box in the store, and fill it with coal. With coal? What? And it's not like he doesn't, you know, think about me or bring me back things. It's just, you know, if somebody says you need to or you have to, immediately Brian's first reaction is no. <laughs> We're gonna go home? I guess so. Maybe play some internet poker or something. I'm playing this insane short stack. It just keeps re-raising. I'm gonna lose this. Uh, Dude, stop talking like such a fish. Do you think I can buy more chips right now? Gone and win. He's pretty good. Yeah, he's about to stack me. He's one of the better players, I think. I think he's one of the top five players I've ever played heads up. I didn't know he played six mags. I just lost 30K. I'm definitely not in the mood to go out tonight. Donnie and Emil can go do this nightlife challenge on their own. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. 
Discussion, discussion. All right, discussion. So we have number one, which is get a girl to buy you a drink. Number two, get a girl to do five push-ups. What's the third one? Get a girl to take her panties off. All right, good. Yeah. Let's go. All right, all right. Great. Okay. Great. Are you guys feeling adventurous at all? Are you guys feeling adventurous? Adventurous? I know some girls from Minnesota. Nothing but trouble, of course. I'm sure you're no different. I, I think you, I think, um... You can't lie to me. I'm a poker player.